in Annapolis heard directly from the families of murder victims today on why violent criminals should not be let out of prison early for good behavior. WMAR 2 News Elizabeth Worthington has been following this story. She was at that hearing and spoke to the victim's families about why they showed up. A daughter who lost her mother and a mother who lost her daughter, both fighting to prevent convicted murderers from getting let out of prison early. I feel for the, his next victim. Gail Seaton's daughter was 17 when she was killed in a murder for hire case in 2005. The man who paid for the hit now walks free. He was sentenced to 15 years in prison in 2012 after pleading guilty to second degree murder. Then we got notice that he was eligible at seven and a half years and we tried to figure out why. Well, instead of working in the infirmary all day or the kitchen, he worked in the infirmary half a day and the kitchen half a day, but got dim credits for working in both. Dim credits, a.k.a. diminution credits, allow inmates to shave time off their sentence by participating in work, education, and other programs in prison. If they earn enough credits, the release is automatic, meaning it doesn't have to be reviewed by a parole board. So I did my research and found out what diminution credits meant. I was totally surprised about them all together. I used to think that, the, that justice had been served when the offender had been apprehended, had gone to court and was convicted. The daughter of Geraldine Williams has been fighting to get rid of diminution credits for convicted murderers for years. Her mother was murdered in Prince George's County in 1990. Her killer was finally caught in 2005 and sentenced to 40 years behind bars. But he still earns dim credits. Right. Okay. So he he will probably be able to come out a lot earlier than the total sentence. Lawmakers have had the chance to pass Geraldine's law multiple times, but the idea hasn't caught real momentum until this session after the murder of Pava LaPere last fall. Her recused killer was let out of prison early, 11 months before her murder, thanks to diminution credits. Very tragic story, completely avoidable. Senator Folden introduced the Safe Communities Act in the Senate. It would eliminate diminution credits for inmates serving a sentence for first or second degree murder and reduce how many credits can be earned for inmates convicted of other violent crimes. Their sentencing means nothing. They get a 30 year sentence. They're eligible for diminution credits by the time they serve a certain portion of their sentence with the dim credits. They're out in less than a third. That's insulting. Opponents of the bill argue getting rid of dim credits gets rid of incentives for inmates to better themselves in prison. After today's testimony, the bill goes to a vote in the Senate committee. In Annapolis, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.